comrades we are in a second struggle for the liberation of our country in the past for many generations our people struggle to fight to regain back their dignity and their freedom and this was achieved after the first wars led by our uh, spiritual leaders community leaders tribal leaders and kings and chiefs spear masters and munyomoji and youth groups all over south sudan when they were battling against the marauding slave traders capturing people and taking away their property this was followed by the liberation war during anyanya 1 where south sudan got a small government but that was not enough for our people our people wanted to determine their future our people wanted to be sovereign and independent that was the struggle led by the SPLM SPLA under our visionary leader John Garang Demobi through that we signed the CPA in Naivasha which granted the right of self determination and we exercise it we made sure that our people choose and we made sure that the choice of our people is respected that is how we declare our independence on july of 9th of july 2011 but our people were not fighting only to be free or to determine their future to have their own country that was not the only reason our people also had an aspiration that they want to be free so that they can build a country for them where they are proud citizens in their own country a country they call their own where they are not second class citizen to anybody else our people wanted a country in which they live in peace and harmony as it is in our national anthem do you know our national anthem in our national anthem we think and pray we thank god for the grace for the land of great abundance that he has given us and we thank god for upholding us united as a people living in peace and harmony among ourselves where we are united and where we are equal where we build this country and create well so that all our children go to school all our sick people can get high quality good quality health services where our people can drink clean water a country where we build roads and we build the countryside we build towns in the countryside we take town to the people as our late chairman said these were the goals but this country its future does not belong to us it belongs to you shabab we you call us your leaders yes we are leading you but no one thing very clear we are your servants we are looking for you we are serving you you are our master we are your servants because the type of leadership that we have and that you must learn to have is to be servant servant to our people in our struggle as the representative of the youth mentioned that 
General Paul Malong entered into so many battles and he's wounded in the battle. And he's also wounded. I am also wounded. <laughs> Remember, we are here standing here today and talking of the second liberation of South Sudan, that is to say, create wealth and build it to be a prosperous country so that we can have a life of dignity where everyone is happy through their uh, work. This is only possible we are standing here as free people today. It is possible because there were tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, of young people, even elderly, who were ready to give their life so that we are free. Our culture of struggle and revolution is for each and every one of us to be prepared to give any sacrifice required so that our people are free and they have a good life. Not only in the battlefield, but in any field of work and endeavor. When we go and work, we work with dedication, total dedication for others, for our people. We are not greedy. We are not working for ourselves as individuals with greed. Greed is the worst thing that you can have. We are here today because I am for you and you are for me. And all of us are for the others, including those who are not yet born. That is the message. Today we are in... SSUF and real SPLM. And in summer we came together because we believe in uniting our efforts and in uniting our people. Selva Kir is applying policies that is dividing our people. We apply policies that unite our people. We must be national, and we all of us must be united and build this country for all of us, where nobody will feel that he is oppressed by another person. Because this is a country that we struggle so that we are all free, so that we all have dignity. That is my message to you. We are united, we must maintain our unity. Not just for us politically, but for the unity of our people. That is why we say, when our colleagues in South Sudan National Democratic Alliance decided to... It's okay, it's okay, they are in the sunlight. No, 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 no. They have to, I don't accept, unless you, put it, you give it to the ladies. <laughs> No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, no, no. It is, there is a special reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Uh, so, comrades, when our colleagues in uh, SOA decided to suspend SSUF, we said, no, this is wrong. Don't do that. Whatever reasons of disagreement that we have, we discuss it and solve it. And indeed we did discuss it and solve it. But some of our colleagues actually were doing this driven by tribalism. Some of them were saying, Kir is practicing tribalism against other tribes and using Dinka, like the Jin Council of Elders. We don't want Dinka also in, uh, in Soma. In Soma. Then I, I told them, I said, what country are we struggling for? 
Is it a country for all of us where we are all un united and equal? Do you want to also do the same thing like what Kiri is doing? They could not answer that. I said, this is wrong. So they said they wanted to suspend uh, SSUF. I said, I will never agree to this. If you suspend SSUF, I will not agree and I will remain united with SSUF, even if you go. Why? Because the policies they are articulating are wrong. They are dividing our people. That we must be principled. And that is the message if you want a peaceful South Sudan, you follow our national anthem and the meaning.